Hi, and welcome to our short eye presentation on using PROACT with MORT, MORT referring to the Management Oversight and Risk Tree. Let's get started. The Origin and Evolution of MORT In 1972, the first generation of MORT text was published by E.G. Johnson for the Energy Research and Development Administration, formerly the Atomic Energy Commission. In 1974, the second generation of MORT text was published by E.G. Johnson, which included safety systems developed by Aerojet Nuclear Company. This research was publicly funded at the time and therefore in the public domain. Since the 1980s, many companies and RCA providers have taken this core research and expanding it, making it much more comprehensive. Such enhanced versions have become proprietary and taken out of the public domain. RCI has designed their PROACT software offerings to allow efficient access to parent-child relationships within the MORT charts based on whatever version of MORT that you have adopted. RCI offers the original version of MORT, which is available in the public domain for free, just as a demonstration of how our unique search engine allows you to navigate within your version of MORT much more efficiently. Okay, let's just have a few seconds here to explain the concept of the templates uh, of MORT and no matter what version that you have. Obviously there were people that were the original developers of MORT that transferred their knowledge and experience in the areas of human factors and communication and, and all of these uh, different branches within the MORT chart and they transferred this to paper. So that now we have paper versions of templates depicting cause and effect logic. Uh, then we put those together and we make volumes and we have, you know, a, uh, books and manuals that teach us how to navigate uh, more, more effectively. Okay, then we can take all of this uh, information that's on paper and now transfer it to relational databases that make it easier for us to use keyword searches and find exactly what we need faster. But really what we care about is the screen that we're sitting in front of. I'm conducting an RCA right now. I have these volumes of uh, charts and branches of charts and uh, you know, descriptions of when to use what. I'm interested in my screen and how to use and access that information as needed quickly. So therefore, that's where, where PROACT comes into play. It allows you to be able to use keyword searches to find exactly what you need at the time that you need it. So if I had an incident, it's related to somehow the design plan and then I want to be able to put, pull in the procedure criteria, and so on, just as a quick example. So let's move on to the software and be able to look at this in real time. Okay, let's say that we are using one of the MORT charts, the, uh, one of the primary ones that has a lot of different branches that it taps off on for cross-references, injuries, damage, other cost, performance lost, degraded. That would be our event. Underneath the event, we have the modes of specific oversights and omissions, assumed risks, management systems less than adequate, future undesired events, and continue at management systems less than adequate. Again, this is a very old version. No matter what, uh, this will work on no matter what version that you do have. Specific oversights and, and omissions. Let's say in this case we have an accident. Underneath the accident, we have incident barriers less than adequate, persons and objects. We'll continue with incident. How can I have an incident? Unwanted energy flow, number one, barriers less than adequate, unwanted energy flow, two and three. We're going to continue with unwanted energy flow. And our options here are technical information less than adequate, continue at design plan, maintenance less than adequate, continue at inspection, supervision or higher supervision less than ad adequate. Okay, at this point what we're going to say is that when it says continue at design plan, it's referencing another branch within the MORT oversight risk tree when it's complete. So, but I don't want to go ahead and search through paper and navigate. I just want to be able to continue on with my questioning. So I'm going to take and highlight only design plan because that's the branch that I'm searching for. And underneath this, we will find the, under parent-child relationships that we, these are all the children to that particular keyword search of design plan. And we see a bunch of those in here, and I'm going to choose the procedures criteria less than adequate. And we'll 
will expand upon that. Uh, procedures criteria less than adequate, and then I want to be able to do a previous suggestion search on human factors. And we find all of the ch children to this parent request. And we did not establish man task requirements. Again, we expand. Did not establish man task requirements. Hit previous suggestions. So let's go ahead and look for the previous suggestions under man task requirements. I don't have a cross reference here. I'm going to take the whole phrase as my keyword search. And we find out we have controls, did not define users, and so on. So this is the way that we're able to be able to look up the data that we need in specific parent-child relationships based on whatever version of MORT that we're using. And you, would, you could be able to set up your own templates uh, of the versions of MORT or whatever tool that you're using and be able to set them up as templates for cross-referencing within this particular tool for a root cause analysis. This concludes our short I presentation on the use of PROACT with whatever version of MORT that you're using. I'd like to thank you for your time. I know you're very busy people. For more information on the exclusive PROACT RCA knowledge management system for industry and how your version of MORT can be used, please visit www.reliability.com. For a live online demo, please contact our John Bartlow at 1-800-457-0645. Thank you for your time.